So, um, my name is Osvaldo, I'm here with Bad Music, uh, with a legend, Bucket, from uh, the Toasters, all the way from uh, Manhattan, here at the fan club. They play with Los Furios and the Bone Daddies. Awesome concert, amazing band. So, if you want to tell me a little bit about the history of the band, because I know it's 33 years. It's you yeah, can my, say it very fast, but 33 years is a long time. Yeah, I have it in one word, Wikipedia. <laughs> when I find out about band, Wikipedia can say it better than me, but we've been around a long time, but uh, what a great show here tonight. It's, it's good to see that uh, in Vancouver the scar scene is still going on, you know, with some good bands, good local bands playing tonight. But uh, I'm very interested to know that you know my friends over in Pass and Valencia. Over in Paz in Valencia, yeah, yeah, no, we know a couple of bands there yeah, in Valencia yeah. and, and in Spain. I know you live there. I live in Valencia now too. Yeah. But I would like to, Olé, for for my friends <laughs> that are here in Canada, to t that they don't know your band, uh, to tell them a little bit about it because it's well, the band started in 1981 in New York, and uh, what the Toasters did was uh, take a little bit of English two-tone music and mix it up with. NYC hardcore and punk and make what we call the East Side Beat which is a more aggressive sound um, like American two-tone we call it and that was in 1981 and here we are now 2014 33 years later still making the soup so I guess people like what we're doing you know and I guess you had like a lot of uh, different uh, band members coming and going yeah well and... people say why do you not tour with the original members I say well two of them are dead so it doesn't make for a very good live show. You know? <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, um, a lot of people got, got married or had kids, they got a job, they can't do this. So, they, you know, so I, got, I get some young guys who want to play music and I take them out and we, we do it. So that's what we do. Yeah, he's a trooper, and uh, yeah. you've been tour. You tour like every year. You tour, or, or what's it? Yeah, well, you know, the music business has been destroyed by digital download. You know. I think on purpose by Sony, but that's a different conversation, you know. And uh, but the digital download and live streaming has burnt the music business down to the ground. Labels can't function anymore unless they're really big. All the small labels are gone because they have no funding. All the independent labels are gone. There's only the big ones now. So I think the MP3 happened on purpose. Conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. did it on purpose. But. Uh, that was, uh, you know, the MP3 is Sony's Hiroshima, you know. <laughs> it drew it like George Bush had the 9-11. Mm, we'll talk about that too. Yeah, well, but, we're But getting... anyway, so uh, the only way we can make money is to play live, and that's what we like to do, so here we are, once again. Yeah, we're and getting... We'll be, and we'll be back next year. Otra awesome. Vez. Yeah! Otra vez, otra vez, <laughs> otra vez. Yeah, we're getting a little bit into politics, but uh, you live in, Bar in Valencia. That's right. Why? We have fucked up politics there too, because in Valencia it's PP, which is the right wing party. Yeah, yeah. No, no good, you know. It's Do you know what's the name of that band? Aspen Cat. Aspen Cat. Yeah, that's the band that was, uh, we no, were talking I don't about. Know that, I'll, ask, uh, yeah. I'll ask Miguel Ramos from Urban Pass. He'll, he'll surely know that. So you play a lot in Spain too, like with the toasters? Not, not, not very much. Do you okay. have another project there going on? No, when I, when I go to Spain, normally I relax with my family. When I go home to Spain, I don't want to work out. I like to go to the Mercado Central and get some calamari, put it on the grill, a la plancha. So Drink when I, some cerveza. Yeah, and so when I go back to Spain, I like to relax and kick back a little bit. That's my downtime with the family. But we're playing about 200 shows a year right now, like worldwide. That's enough, I think, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That leads me to, to my last question. Uh, plan, future plans? Uh, you're still uh, touring around? Or what's the... Well, touring, like I said, the music business has been burnt to the ground. So for artists, there's no, not really a lot of income uh, from traditional sources like record sales and royalties and mechanicals and publishing. So. It's really incumbent on the artists to go back and play live music for their fans in vivo, which really, when you think about it, is what the business should be about. Music should be live. Music should be audience and, you know, not just a 
Uh, yeah, you have a good report like on the a, people. An MP3 that you listen on your phone, what is this? Is that, it's like the, the, the major labels want to make music into McDonald's, where you, you take an MP3, which is a crap sound system, and you listen and download and listen on your phone, what is this? You know. So they're trivializing the, the music business. So we want to just play live, you know, like Manu Chao, mm -hmm. you know, big, big influence. Yeah, big yeah, player. yeah, cool. And he plays live. He goes out to, he says, okay, I'm going to go to the Balkans and play a week. Everybody says, you're crazy. So he goes and plays, big success. So, so you like the, the report that you get with the, with the yeah, audience? Absolutely. And absolutely. you always get like uh, encores? And well, the audience is a big part of the show. Yeah, you know? it's not like, you know, when you go to a see a show, it's not like you're watching TV. You, there's people on stage and there's people in the audience. Let's let's bring the audience in. And the audience for us, the audience is a big component for the show. So yeah, we give it out. We yell at we yell at them. We insult them. We like poke them a little bit and like you know to get them going. And so we get the banter going, and that's what makes a good energy, good atmosphere, give and take, and that's a good show for me. New CD is coming soon. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What's the point of making a new CD? I have to give it away for free now. I'd rather take that money and put it in my gas tank and go and play some shows somewhere. Uh -huh. Awesome. Peru, Peru, China, Australia. You know, I'd rather do that. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you for coming yeah. to Vancouver. Yeah. Bucket, a living legend of the ska movement, Woo! second wave from all the way from Manhattan. Thank you for being Cheers. here and Cheers. sharing your music. Cheers, we, we love it. Bye.